All right, good morning, guys. Mike Heard 360. Uh, my neighbor's over there mowing the grass, so I apologize for that. He started about the time I did this, started this video project. But I wanted to take a few minutes to talk to you about a few things. First off, uh, I would love for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I, I always try to put up helpful tips pertaining to uh, the, the stuff that I sell and the products that are available out there. Uh, so please subscribe to my YouTube channel and let's get on with this video So because it's freaking hot and I'm dripping sweat. So this is a 10 watt solar panel, 12 volt, nominal 12 volt system. It's uh, one of mine that I have made for me. Uh, this is, you'll see here maximum power, maximum power voltage is 18 volts. That's your working voltage of the solar panel. Uh, your open voltage 21.6 some of them go up 22 23 volts. That's okay uh, In a 12 volt system you're charging a 12 volt battery uh, Of course if you have a, a significant size panel you definitely want to use a charge controller To keep from overcharging your battery, but uh, these voltages are perfectly safe in a system But you also have to be mindful of them and what you're hooking up to your system so you don't want to hook up a regular trail camera directly to a solar panel that will probably fry your camera. All right, so uh, I, I see this question asked all the time. Uh, what kind of performance are guys getting down in the bottoms? Uh, it, you know, the solar working, I want to run solar, but I, I get mostly shade. So let's just take a look at what actually happens to a solar panel and its output, okay? All right, so we're, we're looking at 21.7 volts right now. And I'm just gonna cover just a little, a little bit of that panel, or even there, or there. You can see 21 volts, cover just a corner, 21, take it away, it goes up, cover there, it goes down. Now, the voltage didn't drop a lot, and to some people that may seem, well, that's not bad. Solar panel's still able to do something. This is a monocrystalline solar panel, uh, monocrystalline PV, they call them, pho photovoltaic. I don't know how to say that word, but you get the, you get the idea. Uh, that's the material it's made out of. You can also get polycrystalline and amorphous. Amorphous panels are thinner and more flexible. Uh, they claim they produce more electricity in low light, but they really don't, not enough uh, to offset because an amorphous panel is actually less efficient than a monocrystalline or polycrystalline. So it takes a much larger panel to do the same work. So they kind of offset each other and the efficiency in ambient light for an amorphous panel is not that much. So uh, if it was, I would offer them. I've already talked to my manufacturer about them and we had a long discussion about it and they educated me on the panels. All right, so we turn it there. We're gonna we're gonna check the amperage. So right now we're at ten point three. If your sun was directly overhead and closer to the Earth, it would actually be even higher than that. That's your optimum condition for a solar panel. This is much solar energy possible from the sun, which means the sun has to be closer to the Earth. All right, that's why solar panels work better in the south than they do in the north. One of the reasons. So, all right, angle of the sun also affects it. Now, same thing, just the corner of this panel, but look at the amperage. You see that 4.3 down to 0.04, or let's move it here, 0.04. You know, just, just a little bit. Guy said, well, I'll just get some, the leaves, the sun makes it through the leaves. Take it away. So that's what happens, guys. And so, your uh, will your solar panel be able to keep up? Let's let's check. The, it was 21 volts when I covered it up, right? About 21 even and 0 0.02. So let's do a little math. Point. Let's see. 0 0.02 times that was amperage times 21 volts, and we got 0.42. So 0.42 watts. Now we were at, earlier at 0.47 times 21 point, was that seven? 
So we went from 10.199 watts all the way down 102 times 21 volts, 0.42. So less than a half a watt just by putting a small fraction of shade on that solar panel. Guys, solar don't work in the shade. This is why, and that's the proof. We just took the reading. Will it produce electricity in ambient light? Absolutely it will. But your current drops way down, which means your amp, your watts drop way down. Check it again. Eighteen volts in the ambient light at point oh one amps. So I never recommend solar to shaded areas. I try to get to know my customers and find out what they need, what their setups are like, and tailor to it. And this is why. So if you're thinking about solar and you can put several hours of direct full sunlight, full, no shade, no trees shading it, no filtered light coming through the leaves then it's a good idea. But if not, just go with an external rechargeable battery setup. If you need help with that, give me a call. Mike at Herd360, 803-341-0938. Check me out, Herd360.com. Guys, I appreciate you watching. It's freaking hot. I'm dripping sweat. So I'm going to go. Y'all have a great day.